Hey guys, and welcome and thank you for joining me for today's shave. So in the last video I made, I shaved with the Wilkinson Sword Safety Razor. This is a newer razor on the market from Wilkinson, which is a UK-based uh, company. And the cool thing about this razor is it's $16. You can find out there are a lot of places, a lot of grocery stores, I think Walmart and some Targets are carrying it, but you can find it a lot of places. It's $16 on Amazon, which is a great deal. It comes with this uh, this razor that you can see here. It has a little emblem here, and this is a twist to open razor, which I'll show you here. You twist this bottom cap down here, the doors open, you directly load your blade in the top, and then just tighten it down. Very user-friendly. Uh, I do like this style razor. It's kind of uh, modeled after one of the uh, classic uh, Gillette razors, um, kind of one of their super speed model razors. Anyway, uh, good looking razor. It's got a nice knurling on here, barber pole style. So you get this, like I said, $16, comes with the razor and comes with five Wilkinson sword blades. And that's where there's the problem. So the Wilkinson sword blades out there, there's two different types. There's some that are made in India that are supposed to be fantastic. And there's other ones that are made in Germany. The ones that came, at least with my razor, were from Germany. And those blades are not that great. Um, in the last shave, though, overall, the performance of the razor seemed to be good. Those blades were not that comfortable, and really specifically on my neck, there was tugging and pulling. I did get a little razor burn after the shave. Uh, so I wanted to shave with this razor again, but with a blade in there that I knew had really good performance for me. Uh, so today I'm going to be using a Persona blade, which I'll load up here in just a minute. Um, so I think it's unfortunate that they put those uh, German uh, Wilkinson sword style blades in there. Uh, and going through all the comments from the last video, it seems like there's a lot of guys that have problems with those blades. It's not just me. Uh, so I think that that's pretty unfortunate if this, because this is gonna be for a lot of people, their first experience shaving with a safety razor. And those blades just aren't gonna cut it for a lot of people based on what I've seen in the comments. Uh, so that is unfortunate, but nonetheless, Razor $16, widely available, so it is a good conduit to get a lot of people into the hobby. Nonetheless, want to share with it again. So here we are, Wilkinson Sword Safety Razor, beautiful chrome razor. You can see here, just really gorgeous razor. I'm going to put a brand new Persona blade in here, which is one of my all-time favorite blades. You know, not too sharp, not too dull, pretty smooth overall. I don't know, I think it just gives me just a really great experience shaving. Uh, it just seems to work really well for my skin type, and they're they're very, very affordable. You can get a 100-pack on Amazon. Uh, don't quote me on the number. It used to be around 12, 13 bucks because they come in a 100-pack. It's been a while since I've had to buy them, but this is what it comes in here. You can see, nice 100-pack razor blades. They're all stacked in here with their uh, razor wrappers like I had there. Anyway, got load up here, and this uh, razor loads up the blade very nicely. It's always something I look at in a razor. Once I put the blade in, see if it tightens down nicely, which it does, has a nice firm end point so you know that's fully tightened. Then I just look at the blade and I make sure that it's not sitting in there skewed one way or the other. And this has equal blade exposure along the entire safety bar. And I look from the top and see if it has equal blade exposure on both sides because it can also, aside from holding the blade in there skewed one way or the other, it can be translated one direction. Uh, so one side of the razor can shave differently than the other side of the razor. But this looks nice and even. Yeah, I've been really impressed. It seems to load up blades perfectly every time. So that's a good thing going for it. All right, so I just got out of the shower. My facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I have about a day and a half, a day and a half of facial hair growth. Um, so not too much hair to take off. I'm going to be shaving with my Samog 620. Beautiful, beautiful brush here. Um, this is boar hair that is dyed. Um, like I mentioned before, I don't love dyed boar hair, but based on performance of this brush and its bigger brother, the 830, I've really started to enjoy um, the dyed boar hair just because it seems to perform so well. This is the, the smaller version, uh, acrylic candle, very beautiful. The, uh, the knot down here, the base of the knot is dyed black and tons of dense hair in here. It's a very, very dense uh, boar hair knot, which I really do like. This was soaking while I was in the shower. Just gonna dip it here in the water in my sink, wring it out very gently. You have to be careful when you're using natural hair brushes like boar or badger or horse, whatever it may be. If you don't treat the hairs well, you can damage the hairs in the brush. So what I do instead of, you just don't wanna twist it because you can rip some of the hairs. So I just give it a gentle twist not much pressure at all, a gentle twist, then I just squeeze the knot, and that gets out all of the excess water. 
happy with that. Seems like an appropriate amount left in here. For Tay's shaving soap, I'm gonna go with Phoenix CAD. This is, as it says on here, their classic barbershop scent. You smell it, it smells a lot like Barbasol, which is just really a fantastic classic shaving scent. I really love the scent of soap, and with Phoenix, you know you're gonna get excellent performance every time. This is a vegan soap for those of you who are uh, looking for that. Um, nonetheless, you know, there's a lot, big divide out there. Tallow, vegan soaps, you know, which is best. You know, early on when these, uh, when these artisan soap makers start coming onto the market, I really do think that tallow-based soaps had an edge to them, but as they have um, performed uh, better and better with the bases that they make that vegan soap out of, the, the performance is just right up there with tallow. I really can't tell that much of a difference or any difference at all. You know, I use vegan soaps, I use tallow-based soaps. It really doesn't make a difference to me as long as the soap base is good and you're buying it from an artisan who knows what they're doing. Um, you know, you guys can look out there for reviews. I've got reviews, a bunch of other people have reviews. Just, just know what you're buying. You know, once in a while you do run into a product that does not have great performance. You know, they just need to work on their soap base a little bit, but, uh, but Phoenix really has it figured out among other vegan soap makers. I was blooming the soap while I was in the shower, which just means putting some water on top of the puck. Helps loosen up that first layer of soap. I'm going to take this bloom water. I don't waste it. Add it to my face to add in some hydration. And get that layer of soap on there, which I love. The only downside to using that is then your hand is really slick. So I always make sure that I wash it off here in the sink and dry it off to get it off. But because it's my shaving hand, my right hand, and I don't want it to be slick while I'm holding the razor. All right, grab the brush. I like the, the moisture in here and gonna load up. Now this is a smaller brush. You can see the size of it here in my hands. It's a little bit smaller handle, but it has a, a, a bulky handle on it, so it's not hard to hold. Some small brushes have small handles, but this one is nice and wide, so I don't think there's any issues gripping the brush, which is something you have to think about when your hands are wet and a little slick with soap. And this brush has a ton of backbone. It's very easy to load up from a puck. There you go. Look at that. So that's really what I'm looking for, just this kind of pasty, creamy lather here between the bristles. All right, then go into a face lather. I've had a few comments recently about people having issues building a lather. That's something you got to work on. Um, it's really not that hard once you get the feeling for it, but it takes a little bit of time to, uh, to really know how to build a lather and how to do it consistently. My recommendation is to, because you're really working with that balance between how much soap or cream you have in your brush and how much water you've added. So what I like doing is loading up more soap than I need. As uh, the stallion says, load it like you hate it, load up a lot, load up more than you need, and then I start with the brush. So I did wring it out there and I took out pretty much all of the extra moisture in there. The brush was pretty dry. So then I start building up like this. After I've loaded into the brush, we can see here this, this lather just looks thick. It's kind of like a thick yogurt, and which is not what I want. This is not good to shave with just because it, it clogs up the razor head very quickly. But this is a perfect base to start with. So I just start there and then you can slowly add in water and build up the full lather. So I just take my brush here, I just dip the, uh, the tips of the hairs into the water's edge just a little bit here in the sink. There you go, got some water, then I work it into the lather. So I'm going to build up this lather here. That can handle more water. So I don't know how it's coming across on the camera, but hopefully you can tell a difference between this side of my face, which has this nice lather. It should honestly look like if you've ever shaved with a shaving cream out of a can before, like Barbasol that I was just talking about, you hit that button, your hand fills up with that foam and you put it on your face. It should look like that, which is what this looks like in person here. Like I said, I hope this comes across. 
Um, as opposed to this side, it looks very flat, dull. It's just kind of thick feeling here. Like, look at, look at me trying to wipe it off. It's just very, very thick, which is great. I can work with that, but this is what you're aiming for, this side of my face. All right, so I'm gonna get a little more water for over here. All right, so that's what you're looking for. Nice, beautiful lather. I feel like I'm good at building a lather. I'm not the best out there. There's some guys who every time just get a very huge, voluminous, thick lather. You head over to like Rudd Shaving. He's so good at building lathers. I'm very jealous. And plenty of viewers have pointed out that he builds better lathers than I do. But he, he's very talented at it. But I'm happy with this. I know this is gonna give me a great result. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so let's get into the shave. I'm excited to see how this razor performs with a different blade in there. I was pretty disappointed after the last shave. I mean, I, well, it was a decent shave, but I really wanted this uh, this razor to perform well. Um, so I'm really excited to see how, how it does with this uh, Persona blade. Um, it's been a week since I filmed my last video. I have not shaved with this razor this week because I wanted my my impression to be uh, unadulterated. I wanted you guys to really get my the first time using this with a blade I love. All right, first pass is gonna be with the grain. Start here at the sideburns, line up the safety bar where I want my sideburn, add the correct angle, light pressure, just start shaving. say this is feeling really good I'm hopeful All right, first pass feeling good. I was not getting any of that weird tugging, which is the first time I noticed it was on the first pass, but then it was really second, third pass when it really stood out to me. So we'll see how that does. I'm gonna clean up my face. Now, I love the scent on this soap. This is just such a good scent. Uh, the CAD from Phoenix, just it just reminds me of shaving. It's just such a classic shaving scent. Really, really nice. If you guys don't have this soap, I definitely recommend it. All right, nice quick application there. Second pass is gonna be cross grain this direction.
That is so much better. No weird tugging like I was getting before. All right, second pass, feeling great. I'm really happy with where the shave is at. Top face feeling nice and smooth. Very, very comfortable shave. Neck's feeling great, very close. No weird tugging. It was really that blade that was causing issues, which is just so unfortunate that they send it with those blades that so many guys don't react well to. All right. Third lather and third pass, cross grain this direction. And then we'll see. I think I'm done on my neck. Oh, I'll clean up a little bit there. See, I'm just feeling around. That neck feels good. Just a little bit here on top of my Adam's apple. That's it. I'm gonna leave it like that. And because this has been so comfortable, I'm gonna feel around, see if there's anywhere else that I may have missed and just get it really, really close because my skin's feeling great. I always check here under my nose. It's good, got that. Mustache feels nice and close. Chin feels nice and close. There you go. I'm very, very happy with where it shaves at. I'm gonna call it right there. All right, <clears throat> so that was full shave with the new Wilkinson Sword Safety Razor with a different blade in here, not the Wilkinson Sword Razor that it came with, or the razor blade, but a Persona blade, and this was night and day better. I didn't really realize how much that that last shave was tugging, um, you know, because you don't know if it's the razor, if it's the blade, but now putting this, feeling how well this uh, razor performs the better blade in here it was just fantastic such a difference my neck it was comfortable the entire time got a nice close shave up here on my face no weird tugging no weird behavior behavior i really really did like this a lot this is great very unfortunate that they send it with those plates because that's going to be like i said a lot of guys first experience using a safety razor is using those blades and i just think that it could be a such better experience if there are different blades in there but it's a Wilkinson razor, you're gonna put Wilkinson blades in there. I don't think there's really any way around it, um, is what it is. But if you guys have this razor, please give it a second chance. If you do not have a good first experience with it, please get some different blades. There's plenty of great blades out there. Some of my favorites are uh, Feather, Gillette Super Stainless, Persona, Voshkod, Permasharp. Um, there's really a ton of fantastic blades out there. The list is not limited to that. Those are just some of my top favorites I can think off the top of my head. Anyway, I really like this razor. Very comfortable in the hand. Um, you know, like I had mentioned before, the knurling on here, this barber pole style knurling, which is just kind of this, these spiral lines up there. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Your fingers can slide on them a little bit, but with you know your grip on both sides, it's not gonna slide much, but just a little bit of slip. Nothing really uh, concerning. Um, yeah, such a beautiful razor. I really like it. I like that it's twist to open. Very, very excellent uh, shave there. All right, post shave. I'm gonna go with Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is the original, the astringent version that is alcohol based. I like the alcohol in there to clean up my skin if I got a little close anywhere. Zero burn, which is always a good sign that was a close shave. With no razor burn, very happy with that. And I like the witch hazel, has some anti-inflammatory properties to it. 
Then I'm gonna seal it up with a Nivea sensitive post shave balm just to lock in some moisture, especially here in the summertime or winter time. Um, you know, I, my skin will get pretty dried out if I don't do that. Anyway, excellent shave. Um, love this razor. I'm gonna be keeping this one around, using it uh, for future videos. I know a lot of you guys who chimed in after my previous video love this razor, so I'm glad to hear that uh, other people are having the same experience with it. And at 16 bucks, it's a great intro razor to get people into the hobby, especially since you can pick it up at brick and mortar stores. Like I had mentioned before, there's lots of places that's available. You know, if you're at the grocery store, I always, if I'm in a new grocery store, I always go through the shaving aisle. You never know what they're gonna carry there. I've been really surprised sometimes at uh, different really cool products that they've had. So if you're out grocery shopping next time, definitely stop by, check it out. They might have it. I use the Samog 620 brush. I love this brush. It's the, uh, the smaller version of the 830. Ton of backbone, performs so well. Once you break it in, once those boar hairs really, uh, you know, they end up splitting, which is what you want. You know, this becomes such a soft razor, and, uh, uh, razor, such a, a soft brush and it's such a pleasure to use. And then for the shaving soap, I use the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement CAD, which is their classic barbershop scent, which I really loved. Excellent performance as usual with uh, Phoenix soaps. And this is one of my favorite uh, scents from them. Please let me know if there's any products you want to uh, see. Please let me know below. As always, thank you for watching.